Hello, everybody. Carl here. Welcome back to Aeronautica. Today, or tonight, I'll be showcasing a newly released aircraft, and you might see the difference between this and the de. So let's uh, make a move around of this plane first. You'll see a little difference, and it's the afterburning engines right over here. I'll be showcasing a newly released aircraft. This is the Tupolev Tu Stosoro Chetria S, or the Tupolev Tu 144S. My Russian gets better now. And this, here are the statistics. It's on the bottom left corner of the screen. As you can see, it's um, it's just 227 kilometer range. As compared with the two sto which is 241, and it's yes, it's it has this small difference in the statistics. It's, it's um, this one has a longer range, and then the the where's the stosoro the st yeah the s the s here's the s and See, it can see it has the same ceiling 20,000 meters and has the same cargo capacity, cargo or passenger capacity. And let us do a cargo, uh, let's not cargo, let us do a charter job on this airplane. So we're here at Fiskar where you can buy it for 100,000 wings points and let us. Take a charter flight to this new temporary airport called Valhalla International. How fitting. Shall we? And the appearance is just as basically as the same as the the de. And then let me go back to 10,000 so you can see what's the, wow, it's still bugged, all right? Let's see who this is everyone. If you want to see who's in the server right now, and let's see, right? Oh, great, can't say the best. Hmm, why is, why are they here? So. Let's um let's fix the chat box. And let us taxi this to a sort of Ketri and S. What is this runway? Runway nine. Oh yes, it's a uh so let me let's um oh somebody's typing in thigh. So let's uh, make the runway marker to runway eight, so we can taxi to runway eight, and then we will we will land this on the we'll land this on runway eighteen from the north. So let's turn on the engines. That's good. Oh, Flaming Owl has just notified me of possessing this plane. I got the Stosoro Ketria S, so let's taxi this to the runway.
All right. The biplane. Oh yeah, that's not not a biplane. That was just owl in the Su-31. Sure, I will. Don't you worry. Yes, this is not in the database yet. <laughs> so, you've already seen the statistics for this plane at the beginning, and then they didn't. And the people here in the chat didn't. So let's, uh, 2%. Whoops, that's a bit fast. Alright. Then we'll just take this off immediately. And don't forget to press the T key to raise the nose and the mustache. Good. Let's align it. Let's align this into runway 8. And then, there we go like there and let's take this off yep it's blue rarity full speed ahead I usually start at 90 but for the purpose of this video, let's full speed ahead. And let's raise. Right. And we're off. Close the gears, and then let's turn up the rudder a bit to the left. And once we're about 1,000 meters, let's turn on the afterburners. All right. How about 2,000 meters? Let's notify the cat at the proper time. Nineteen hundred meters. Look at that. Sonic Boom. The Contrails. Come on. Oh, Cloud Cover. And the Contrails are already out. Turn a bit to the left. Mm -hmm. We'll stop at around uh, 100 kilometers from the airport. If we can. Mm -hmm. 
Should be, a be less than 20,000 meters. Sixteen hundred knots. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Keep it around twenty thousand or around that. All right, cruising altitude with afterburners. Hmm. We'll set our fuel from around 25%. Whoops. Oh, always mishaps. Why is this happening? All right, let's. That was just temporary, so make the plane level. Let's see what's the distance from Valhalla. So, I'm too busy here. Oh, it's, it's going to be sunset, so let's uh, turn on the navigational lights. It's 90 degrees. And there's uh, that's it. So this is a bit more cumbersome than the Stosoro Chetria De. It's the descent stage 29. Oh, there's a Uh, the DC-86. Hmm. Oh, that's a DC-8 cargo freighter. Yes, that's not a DC-86. It's a DC-8 cargo freighter. And there's a... There's an A350. This is a TriStar. An Embraer, maybe? Oh yeah, this is, should be a a Loyal Patrol Orion, the Lockheed P3. Hmm. Let's 
like it's going to be level. So this is like 2,000 points more costly than the Concord, but still it's, I don't see any difference between this and Le Concorde. So I would say these are like, they have similar statistics and at least they're hmm, how can I say this <laughs> because there's no difference All right we're down to 8.3 meters per second of descent or glide So it's around 10,000, the descent would be as equal as the Trusto Soro Ketria De, but it's a bit more cumbersome. Hmm. Can I level this plane? Hmm. Yeah, it was already level. Right. <laughs> the afterburners were the extra weight, if, if my intuition was right. So we're 40 kilometers away from the temporary airport. And there's a lot of planes doing a commute. 757 freighter. Uh, that's the Gulfstream 650 extra range. Oh, that's the A350 once again. Seven four seven four hundred, and I can see a a DC ten. Another seven four seven four hundred. So when we go to 30, we will start lowering the nose and assure a safe landing. So 100 degrees, 10 from east. Eight four hundred above. Just reminding on the chat.
right 30 kilometers away let's uh, start lowering the nose to improve the descent and uh, 2019, 2019, 2013, 2013, 2007, 1. All right. So the rate of descent increases to 14. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we're still far. Yes, I should like lower the nose earlier, but yes. this is what I always do with new aircraft experiment, like what happened to the duh or in better terms, what I've did. With the two still sort of chatter you do. The T one forty four D. Hmm, maybe I can do one round. Do one circle around here so we can start descending. So let's uh, move the rudder a bit to the right. I can see another super. I can hear another supersonic plane coming. It's a, it's it's a fighter. Great. Ryan's there. Right. Well, the descent is already varied, just because of this nose here, so. Let's reduce the oh. Let's reduce first the descent. If we can uh, try to reduce descent around thirty. 
bit, reduce the tenor bit. Yes, it still has 42 cargo capacity. Oh, we are already like a double relative to the airport distance, so let's we can start landing from here. Smooth the landing, then we can. Uh... Alright, let's uh, straighten out and then we'll put the, put the nose down. Nose. Okay. Alright, we'll start lowering this. Right. Is this parallel? Right, I guess it is. Come on. Hmm. 181. Right. Let's align the nose down. Right. Let's start putting down the gears. Good. Oh, we're a bit to the left. We're a bit to the right. So let's. Uh, right. Let's restart the engines in five. Whoops. We're falling down a bit too low. Come on. Thirteen. Oh, this, this sound didn't work. How pathetic. How... Right. 
Right. And I'm going too fast. Oh, what a bad landing. Ugh. Take a Ugh. Hmm. Oh well. I still made it. <sighs> oh great. Slight overrun. <laughs> Slide over one. Uh, well, I should start making a better video for this without the overshot. Let me check that the volume was high enough. <coughs> nope, it's not working. It's just a, it's just a game, so there's no effects of not landing early, too late, or overshooting. So the grass can still be considered a runway. Oh, there's a uh, there's a line here. What is this line doing here? <laughs> Still taxiing in a straight line, even if this was, oh, like this, it's, yes, the taxiing is still bugged, and this doesn't just apply for this plane, I've tried with my Galaxy, and the, um, the MD-11 freighter, probably my Blackbird. Right, we can stop right here. Right, the charter flight rewards like 6,600 points, around 11,000 of money. So let's um, let's move this. Let's let's taxi this to the fuel depot over here. What's that? Is that another jet plane? Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a Rafael Menon. Yes, this is a bit. This is a bit annoying, but this is just the physics of Roblox. This persisted in one of my first games like this. And we can stop here. And we can uh, break.
And that is that. Charter flight from Fiskar to Valhalla on the Tupolev Tustosoroketria S. The Tupolev Tu-144D, or Tu-144, whatever you like to say it. And it's, it's just the Concorde with some statistics different statistics whoops <laughs> uh, I, put, I pressed the wrong key <laughs> let me uh, turn this off once again well we can just we'll just aim it was just exit our engine like this All right. Should have put press the X key to refuel this plane. There we go. And this this costs one thousand wings. No, it's one hundred thousand wings points at Fiskar Island Airport dealership. If you want to know where where can you buy this thing, and its rarity is blue, like the. The two so two store ketria de. So it's like equal chance. The only difference is that it has an afterburner, like the Concorde and some of the fighter planes. So we got a pseudo Concorde. Concorde ski, whatever you like to call it. And both still they can do well in charter flights. Well, you need to sacrifice some of your money. Yes. And there's a A340-600 landing right now, taking off. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> that was a short runway. Come on. Let's see, what. who else are here? And there's a C-130 coming. All right. All right, that's the flight. Then... Alright then, see you on the next video.